Hi guys, well, I'm just gonna just do a quick little demo on this um, Canon 250. Uh, I think it's one of the newer ones, so it's a new new camera um, and it's Wi-Fi compatible. Um, it's touchscreen, so it's got some nice features in terms of touchscreen, so you can sort of do all your um, your work with the touchscreen as opposed to sort of going to these buttons. So if I switch this on, uh, let's switch it on. So is it on? There we go. Okay, so there it is. It's on. Uh, there's my menu. So there's my. Um, I've just taken a picture. So if I go to my Q button here, um, I am at the moment in um, auto mode. So I'll go through the settings. So this is auto mode. That's your on and off. There's your ISO and your display. Obviously, you got your hot shoe. And this camera is using an um, AF um, 18 to 55 mil lens. Standard lens, really. Um, so this is an entry-level new DSLR camera. So, um, and it's got um, some nice features. It goes up to 4K as well, so that's quite cool. So if you if you like filming, um, this kind of entry-level camera actually now shoots at 4K, which is really, really cool. Um, I think this is perfect for like people that are in college or maybe at school that are looking to get into a bit of photography. So it's got a nice touch screen and you can also link Wi-Fi it to your... Um, your smartphone or also to your laptop and be able to sort of transfer files vi uh, further. So that's quite good. It's particularly with 5G at the moment that's around. So that's pretty critical. Cool. So if I click on that, this, here's my um, menu. And if I click on, if I go to the Q button and then hover through like this, I can hover through with my dials like this. So at the moment I'm in, I'm in auto mode. I could do that. I could just click on these things and click on that and it takes me back. And if I click on this this um, creative assist, it gives me different, um, you know, sort of kind of uh, modes of texture of lighting. And again, I can click on this with backgrounds. I can sort of um, diffuse and uh, diffuse the background so I can sort of make it a bit more blurry. And it gives me a little visual here. So they're quite pictorial in terms of the way they look. So um, they're not like, for example, kind of like, you know, um, more sort of graphical. They're more kind of like kind of little simple images for like entry level users. And then you've got like your white, your um, your contrast, so you can change that here as well. Um, and this goes forward to saturation, color modes, um, color mode two, monochrome. So all your very normal sort of uh, filtery type effects are available here. If I go back, um, you got, if I click on mode, you got continuous burst mode, etc. So that's all there. And again, it's touch screen, so you can move out like that. So that's as much as you can do within um, your auto mode. So if I put it in manual mode, okay, so manual mode, and here now you've got a, a lot more features, a lot more settings that you can sort of play around with. Um, so again, I'm going to click on this cube. You've got to click on the cube button in order to be able to navigate through all the various features. So now I can go to my shutter speed, and I can increase and decrease it like this. So that's quite useful. And when I'm happy with it, I just click on that. This at my um, at F stop. If I click on this one, I can increase and decrease it like this as well. And if I go back, um, I can also go to my ISO and increase and decrease my ISO there as well. So it's all touch screen. You've also got your normal general stuff, your uh, your focal points, so you can touch screen your focal points where you want your picture to focus. So that's quite useful. You have got your timer here, so continuous burst mode. And you've got your file, file sizes over here as well. So that's quite useful as well. Um, so it's a bit, it's very responsive. Um, as you can see, I'm sort of clicking on these and going through whatever I want to sort of go through. Um, and it's very, very, so there's my value to metering. So if I want spot metering, there it is. Um, so it's very, very responsive uh, in terms of navigating this. The, the, there's another nice feature I like about this. If I click on this Q button, it gives me a visual. So what I can do is click on my shutter and increase it like this. So the newer models tend to have this touch screen. So if I take it right up to about uh, 30th of a second, you can clearly see the visual of the exposure of light to the sensor. If I go back, if I go to f-stop, again, I could change my aperture like this as well, which I find very, very useful. Um, Q, like back to Q button. Um, so if I go back to Q button, again, all the features that I've shown you um, are visible here as well, so you've got your white balance. If I click on my white balance, I can change that. Uh, my picture style, so if I want it monochrome, for example, I can change that. Um, and again, my at the moment it's quite dark, so I'm just gonna 
decrease the shutter speed. And there you go. So I, you can now see stuff on my screen, like for example, this lens camera, which I'll take a picture of. There we go. So, oh, there we go. It's a little bit out of focus because the fact that I am, um, my shutter speed is quite low. So we'll go back to my menu. So I can go to my menu, my key, my, my main menu and change various things there. But what I'm just focusing on is, is this Q button. So again, Q button, click on the Q button and I could change like the one shot, the white balance, spot metering. And if I'm happy, I'll just go back and I, I've got my controls here in terms of shutter. So my main key features are my shutter speed, my f-stop, so my aperture, which I can change here, and my ISO, which I can change here. So at the moment, I've got it on, like, say, if I put it about 800. Now, that's got a lot. It's a very, very sensitive to light, so I might change that. And I might go to my shutter speed and give it a bit more time, maybe. So you can play around with those things there in manual mode. Um, you could click on your ISO over here if you want to do, like uh, with the practical button. Use your navigational tools here as well, so move it in and out in order to change the ISO as well. Uh, display, so if I if you're happy with it, I can press the set button and click on display. Display button for the uh, viewfinder doesn't really do anything by the looks of it, so that doesn't do anything. Info, info allows me, shows me all the various um, features that I've got open, so this button here, if I click on that, shows me all the things that I can use available to me. And again, if I click on Q button, I can click on this and sort of navigate throughout. Um, general stuff again, to play, the, to play the images, you click on that. To, to bin, you click on that. And again, there's a few, you can erase raw, you can erase JPEG, or you can erase the both, okay? So it gives you a couple of options there, which I think is quite useful. Um, so yeah, yeah, so cam uh, the uh, Canon 250, um, DSLR entry level camera really tell you the truth uh, for mainly for sort of kind of entry level users but I have to admit it's not bad it's quite responsive um, there's some nice features on it it's Wi-Fi compatible it's touch screen and it does all the things that you want your sort of kind of entry level camera to do so yeah um, if you want to use this for college um, or school this will be quite useful because of the fact that it's visual so when, it, when you go to your menu for example, um, it's all very visual, so you can sort of hover through the various things within within your screen. And also, it's touch screen. When you click on the screen, it will also take the picture. Um, it's using. Um, it comes with a standard lens kit of eighteen to fifty five mil lens. Um, your normal stuff: the image stabilizer, and air focus. Um, it's a bit smaller than previous like sort of entry level models. Um, it looks more, feels more like a sort of small a mirrorless camera in terms of size and build. Your battery is obviously over here. So again, you push it out. I think it's using a, a lithium battery possibly. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but the battery essentially goes in there. Plug that in there and you're ready to go. It's got your HDMI a, a connectivity over here as well. Nice rubber palette that goes in there. And you've also got your um, audio mics over here as well. So if you're going to connect sort of external uh, boom mic, for example, then you would uh, connect to there. Your hot shoe, standard hot shoe. Um, it comes. It does have a flash. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where the button to open the flash is. Um, but usually there's a little button there and you press that and it oh, pops up. But there is a flash on there. I think it's automatic. Or maybe this. Oh, there we go. There's a little, there's a little like sort of kind of hatch thing there. So you just do that. And it opens up. Okay, so yeah, uh, Canon EOS 250 uh, entry level DSLR. Any questions, please do post. Um, useful for school and college users. Any questions regarding any of the features that I've shown, do sort of give me a shout out and I'll tell you a little bit more about them. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.